Come on, Lauren. <gasps> Lauren! No! No, you can't play with us! Get out of here! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Joel, no! Oh, this is so nerve-wracking! This is way more nerve-wracking than I thought! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first official Sims 4 Squid Game. Now, if you haven't actually seen the Squid Game Netflix series, I highly recommend it. The hype is real. But if you haven't, it, it might get spoiled with this series because I tried to make it as detailed and realistic as the show as possible. Starting with the fact that the Squid Game bunker is built on this island out in the middle of nowhere underground, just like in the show. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I wasn't ready for this when I first went in here. Speaking of which, shout out to BBQ in Zoo for making the most amazing squid map I've seen. I mean, there's a lot of really awesome squid game maps, but holy details. Are you guys ready to go down? Me and my YouTube friends have woken up in a mysterious place with lots of money from the ceiling. Oh my God, we look so awesome. <laughs> Welcome to Squid Game, Lauren and her YouTube friends. You have no idea what you're in store for. For. Our contestants are me, Lauren Z-Side. We have Joey Graceffa. And if you notice, we all have different numbers. We have Gloom, aka Cassie. We have Yammy. And we have Joel Smallish Beans back there. We of course have Scott, aka Smajor. And last but not least, the Miss LD Shadow Lady. This was the max amount of Sims I could add because we have another special guest I will be unveiling soon. So this Squid Game's gonna be a little different in that we're limited eliminating one person per game because there's six games. In case for some reason you're not familiar, everybody here is here because they want to win money and they will do whatever it takes, even risk death. So if you don't know, Squid Game is comprised of six different children's games in which the losers of those children's games get um brutally murdered. <laughs> but if you win and you make it all the way to the last game, you win more money than you would ever know what to do with. But that's just a quick overview, just in case you haven't watched the show or have been living under a rock and have no idea what Squid Game is. But I'm excited. I just want to jump into the first game. We got a lot to go through. I'm really scared I'm going to die first. <laughs> all right, through these doors are our special guest, you guys didn't let me finish my sentence. And the first game. We're missing someone. Uh, there he is. There's Joey. Thanks for joining us. Because our special guest is the robot doll from Squid Game. And the first game is gonna be red light, green light. Now you may be wondering, Lauren, how are you gonna do this in The Sims 4? So the only way I could think to make this legit was I literally told each of them to go to a spot at the exact same time. They're all standing still right now. Whoever the first one to move is, loses. And Robot Girl is gonna get them. Okay, Lauren, please don't move. For the love of God, don't move. Everybody's got their arms at their sides. Everybody's at the same point. Going through, nobody's got anything that they're supposed to be doing over here on the side. All right, we're playing the Sims version of Red Light, Green Light in three, two, one. Lauren, do not move. Don't move. Who's gonna move? Who's gonna move? Please don't move. Please don't move, Lauren. Please don't move. They all hate this game. Oh my god. Oh my god, who's it gonna be? This is taking way longer than I thought. I'm very anxious. <gasps> Joey, no! Oh, Joey, no! Look at her face. She's like, ooh, he gonna die. Oh, he gonna die. Joey, Joey, no! Uh oh. Oh, she's on the move. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I did not put that animation on her. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Joey! Joey! Oh no, Joey! Joey, why? Why did you have to move? Everybody's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. Well, get used to it because it's going to be a long day, guys. It's going to be a long day today. 
She's just like, what? What's the big deal? Oh man, I wish I could make the Reaper look like one of the red hooded guys. The PlayStation guys, you know. Stop taunting the people. They won this round. Let them be. Well, congratulations everyone else on, uh, you know. Oh, she's cleaning up. That's nice of her. Oh God, Joey. <laughs> congratulations on everybody else for passing the first round of the Squid Game. You are that much closer to winning a butt ton of money. <laughs> Don't cry. You're all gonna be multi-million billionaires. Oh, yummy. Try to be helpful. <laughs> All right, on to game two. Okay, I told them all to go to the second game room and I want to see them use the stair room. Oh, it does work. We're missing someone. Oh, there he is. Oh, there they go, there they go. Okay, for game two, I have added a new family member. One of the PlayStation mask men. <laughs> the pink soldiers, they're called. He seems really friendly though. He's like, I'm really excited to watch you guys play your next game. But if you lose, I will kill you. But don't worry, we'll have some fun. <laughs> okay, so the actual second squid game is that honeycomb challenge that you've probably probably seen all over the internet. We have to use a toothpick to carve out your shape in that sugar honeycomb. Obviously we can't do that in The Sims, but I was trying to think what kind of game requires patience and precision in order to win it. Don't wake the llama. Basically the Sims version of Jenga, where you need to slowly and precisely take these out before the whole tower collapses. And because we can only have one loser, we're basically gonna have two teams of three face off, and then the losers of the two teams of three will face off until there is one final loser. All right, the first table is gonna be me. Yeah, me. Who do I think I could take? <laughs> Let's put Joel with us. And then the second table will be Scott, Cassie, and Lizzie. Oh my God. It's happening. They're all taunting each other. It's happening. They're all really nervous. I understand. Oh, oh, Joel did it. I don't know which game to watch first. <laughs> this guy's like, I wish I could play. Lauren, come on. Come on, Lauren. <laughs> oh, this feels just as intense as the regular second game in the show. Let me tell- <gasps> Lauren! Oh, Cassie, I think she lost! The llama loses tonight. Yeah, there's a moodlet when you lose. And then there's a moodlet when you win. Okay, well, Scott and Lizzie are safe. Damn it, Scott! How <laughs> you keep making it through? All right, so Scott and Lizzie are back in their bed quarters, safe. And Cassie must remain up here to see who she's gonna face off with out of us three. <laughs> Lauren, please do good. No! No, you can't play with us! Get out of here! Wait! Did I miss the end? Oh, I won, never mind. Oh, thank God, I won. Who lost? Oh no, Joel lost. <gasps> Joel. All right, it's Joel versus Cassie. Where'd the red guy go? Oh my God. The guard's just over here living his best life. He's like, I get to shoot someone, shoot someone, shoot someone. <laughs> Oh! Oh no, Cassie! Oh, Cassie! No, Cassie! Cassie, you don't get a second try! Cassie, you don't get a second try! Cassie, that was the quickest game. Yeah, Joel has the winning llama moodlet, and Cassie has the losing one. No winning one, Cassie. I'm legitimately sad right now. Cassie, Cassie. Oh! Uh, I guess she was such a beloved character that they didn't want to show them actually killing them. <laughs> oh, so shoot. Okay, well, Cassie died, but we didn't get to see it. <laughs> the Grim Reaper didn't even show up. She just kind of spontaneously combusted. Meanwhile, everybody's down here, and I thought about doing like a battle royale lights out, but there's only five of them left, so I couldn't kill more people, or else I wouldn't have enough to do all the games. So moving on to game three. Okay, so game three in the show was Tug of War, which we obviously cannot do in The Sims, but my God, this is so detailed and amazing. I wish we could. But I wanted to do some sort of physical type of challenge game because this one is very physical. And I also wanted a challenge that involved falling. All right, so I've added these rock climbing walls up here and expanded the platform. I could only fit four up here though, so I gotta find where to put the fifth one. Maybe down there? Never mind, I just really ruined the platforms. <laughs> I expanded it out and put this one. All right, so they're all gonna climb at the same time. None of them really know how to climb, and they're all gonna climb a vertical incline. <laughs> and whoever falls off first, Loses. All right, everybody's standing right in front of their platform. Ready, set, go. 
Well, that's adorable. Lizzie tied her hair back. Oh, Lauren got on it last. Oh, I'm cheating. Oh, I'm cheating. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Joel. Joel. Joel, no. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I'm so nervous. I can't. Just everybody looks so close to like full on falling. Ooh, ooh, Lauren, no. Lauren, hang on. No! Lizzie! They're all still going. Lizzie, no, Lizzie, there's no second chances. Lizzie, girl, there's no second chances in Squid Game. I told them all to stop. Oh, God. Oh, everybody's fallen while Lizzie saved all of us. I was the second to fall and Joel was the third. He's just like waiting to kill Lizzie. He's like, yeah, let's let her go. Let's let her have some fun for five more seconds. Oh, Lizzie, she looks so happy. Lizzie! Lizzie, no! Lizzie! Uh, nobody cares. Everybody's so numb to it now. Even Joel! Joel, Lizzie's dead! He's like, oh well, I'm about to get a lot of money. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to game four. All right, so in the show, game four is the most heartbreaking game of them all. It's the marbles one, but obviously we can't play marbles in The Sims. So actually the idea for this game and actually the idea for the next game came from Claire's Sims 4 Squid Game video, which I'll also link in the description below. These are so fun to watch no matter who makes them. But that is playing table tennis, AKA ping pong. Cause you know, marbles, little ping pong balls. I don't know, it's the closest I could come up with. So same thing, it's gonna be two on two and then whoever loses each one will play against each other until we have one person that's eliminated. Let's make it real heartbreaking. Girls versus the guys. I mean, that's kind of how it went in the show too. Come on, Lauren. Your life depends on this. I'm so yes, I think Lauren scored. Oh, Joel scored. Uh-oh, Scott. I don't know who's winning or losing. This is not as intense. Wow, we're in sync. Oh, we were in sync right there. Me and Scott both missed that one. Oh, we're in sync. This is weird. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this sped up and the guy watching in the background is so funny. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, who won? I think Joel won? Yeah, I think Joel won. Oh, it tells me up here, winner, Joel. <gasps> oh no, Scott. All right, Joel, you're safe. Jeez, our game's going on forever. Winner, yeah. <gasps> Oh no, it's me for Scott. Oh, it's a little heartbreaking because we're best friends in real life. Oh God, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so nervous. Lauren, you have to win. You have to do it, come on. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Scott, I swear to God, if you beat me, I'm gonna... Well, I, I won't be doing much because I'll be dead, but... <laughs> oh, oh, we're done. Oh my God, who won, who won, who won, who won? Winner, Scott Major. Oh my God, Scott. Scott, you just killed me. Scott, you swindled me. I'm gonna die, Scott. Scott, Scott, you don't even care. Scott, I'm gonna get shot. Scott, why would you do this to me? Oh no. Well, he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. He's just staring at me, disgusted. Scott, you can't win this whole thing. You can't win this whole thing. Yami, take him down for me, or Joel. This whole time, Joel's been like the slowest to go everywhere. Just doesn't seem like he'd be the winner, but I mean, it might be him. Or it might be Scott, because I made the mistake of giving him the number 456. As people in the show will know. Ugh, Lauren, we were supposed to win this. All right, fifth game. All right, so our final three, and we have the glass bridge. This was made so awesomely in The Sims that I wanted to show it off before I ruin it because in order to play this game, you had to ruin it a little bit to be able to put this slip and slide in because, and this idea was from Claire again, the only way you can win this game is if you do a successful standing trick slide. Once you do a successful standing trick slide, you move on. If you're the last person, then you get eliminated. All right, here we go. There goes Scott. Nope, not a standing one. Here comes Yami. Not a standing one, but cute. Joel, watch him do it immediately. Nope, no Joel. No, no. Oh my God, Yami. <laughs> Does that count as a death? <laughs> nah, we'll keep going. Cool Joel, but still not what I'm looking for. Oh no. They're all terrible. Nobody's doing it. <laughs> Yes! Jeez! Okay, well, Joel's making it to the finals. Who's gonna be the first to do it? Sudden death. Who's gonna win? Oh, God. Yammy. It's gonna be Scott, isn't it? Scott's gonna do it. Oh, no. He did it! Yammy, no! 
Bravo! Yuri! Oh my god, it's like the show. It's like the show. You were our last hope, Yami, for women. For ladies. And Scott showed you up. Alright, well, I guess Scott and Joel are in the finals for all the money. Yami. Yami. You were my hope that one of the women would win. He's just like, do, 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 do. Just gonna do my job. Goodbye, loser. <laughs> what? She just dodged a bullet? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, you can't do that in Squid Game, Yami. <laughs> that was pretty freaking epic, and I wish I could let you live, but... What? What is happening? Ah, somehow self-defense was turned back on. Um, <laughs> this all went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Honestly, you deserve it, Yami. I think you're the winner of Squid Game. You <laughs> deserve it. I'm gonna leave her alone. We're gonna... <laughs> That just happened. Okay, we're back with Robot Doll. We're gonna make sure nobody can kill her. I forgot to exclude this sim from being killed for the other guy. Whoops. Um, Yami's gone full beast mode, guys. I don't know. Maybe the winner of this I should make face Yami because she's become an evil supervillain somehow randomly. <laughs> I don't know. All right, anyway, the last game is of course Squid Game where they basically just battle to the death. That's, uh, that's the game. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to enable self-defense. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll just enable autonomous killing and see what happens? Yeah! What could go wrong? <laughs> They're just standing around. Come on! Somebody make a move! Somebody make a move. Oh my god, Joel's moving first. Joel's moving first. Joel's moving first. He's leaving. <laughs> this game... Squid Game is falling apart. Hold on. I thought these doors were locked. Battle to the death. Battle to the death. Please battle to the death. Come on. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Scott won. That was the quickest <laughs> last game ever. Joel, I gave you self-defense. All right, we gotta, we gotta make him go against Yami. That was too easy. I don't use this word often, but I am flabbergasted by how this game ended up. <laughs> Like, what is this? Uh-oh, Yami's making moves. Of course she's making moves. <gasps> she's going with the grilled cheese! She's going with the grilled cheese. She's choking Scott with the grilled cheese. What? Of all the interactions. Scott, you have self-defense. Scott, self-defense. Scott, self-defense. Reaper's like, I might as well just stay here and wait. Is he gonna self-defend? Is he gonna get out of this? Is he gonna die? Is Yami really gonna win? Wow. Wow. <laughs> and they're friends. She's like, hey, robot doll. Oh my God. She was an inside spy the whole time. Damn. Okay, well, technically the winner of Squid Game was Scott, uh, but Yami, I was out of control and I just had to see what would happen. And you know, twist ending. Yami yeah, came back from the dead and just killed everybody. But yeah, I guess Scott's the winner. Congratulations, Scott. <laughs> Sorry, I had to let Yami loose on you. That was just too weird. But yeah, I had to mess with this map a little bit, but there is literally every detail of the show in this map. I'm blown away. There's the VIP room. There's the stalls that the pink soldiers are in. There's the incinerator room. There's the bathrooms. There's the kitchen. And then if you go down, there's even that like secret room where they were doing secret things. And then they even have that like pond at the bottom with the scuba gear and ugh. Every little detail is in this map. Definitely go check it out and download it for yourselves. I'm kind of sad that I messed it up by adding stuff to play games. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. Let me know if you're happy about the outcome of this. If you want me to do another one in the future with different games, I can also do that. But yeah, I had so much fun with this. And now Yemi's friends with all of the evil people. Great. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like before you go. And if you haven't yet, the subscribe button is popping up right now. Just click on it. It's totally free. There's also some other videos you can check out popping up as well. And as always, I will see you guys soon.